NEPA 1 was my first experiment that was not pressurized when it was fermented and it was transferred over to the keg via normal siphon. This was pressure fermented, pressure transferred to the keg. It's now been in the can for a month. So, it's a little weird, but um, which one would you rather drink? Well, let's just find out. It's interesting, they were both carbonated on the same um, CO2 bottle. But this one ended up a little more carbonated. <clears throat> I know it was a rougher pour, but why did that happen? That's a good question, right? So no oxidation, it's been in the can for a month. It's been probably, I would say seven weeks total from the time I brewed it, maybe eight. And this is why it's important not to oxidize your beers. <clears throat> All beers oxidize. New England IPAs just do it a lot quicker. Look at the difference. It's like two different beers. But they're not. They're the same beer. Even the hop aroma has held out longer than this one. This one is phenolic. That's about it. I'm getting like alcohol maybe and some phenolics coming off of there. Um, <clears throat> this beer wasn't really um, super big on hop aroma, but I am getting some citrus and citrus peel. All right. It's not bad. Still pleasant, probably as good as a day I canned it. <clears throat> In fact, I still have a little of this on tap and they drink about the same. All right, let's go into this one. I don't even want to drink this one. All right, this one has more alcohol kind of notes to it. It's, um, <clears throat> It has this multi cardboard kind of flavor on the tongue. It's dull. This is much more pleasant. So yeah, <clears throat> I just wanted to show you all that. Pretty impressive, right? 